Hey guys, what is up? Today I'm going to show you how to make a Jack Skellington costume. So here's what we're gonna need. First up, we got a pinstripe suit. Found this pinstripe mafia suit at Party City, works great. You could also see if you could find a pinstripe suit in a thrift shop or something like that. Now we couldn't find any pinstripe pants, so we're gonna show you how to make those later in the video. Next up, we got four pieces of black felt. We're gonna cut out and glue together with this, some foam glue for a nice, thick, strong bat bow tie. So here is the foam glue. And we got some white 3D paint for the details of the bat tie. Now these are optional, but we picked up some cheap white gloves for Jack's hands. You could do this, or you could just paint your hands white, or you could get some uh, skeleton gloves, that works too. And finally for the pants, we just took an old pair of black dress pants. I guess any black pant would do. We picked up some white fabric paint and a normal white paint pen for the stripes. Uh, we're going to see which one works best, but most likely it'll be the fabric paint. So here we just got a broad line white paint pen. And here we got two white fabric pens. Alright, so first out, we just cut a white piece of paper out for the design we wanted for the bow tie and trace it onto one of the uh, black pieces of foam. Next, we started to cut out the black pieces of foam, as you can see here. Alright, so now we got one of the layers of the tie cut out, and we're just going to cut out the next three layers and then we're going to glue them all together. Another important part is to cut out the bat head that will be going into the middle of the tie. Alright, once you got the shape you want for the bat head, just slap that on the felt and cut that out. You can cut out two or three layers of it if you want to to make it more 3D. So those are what the bat heads are going to look like cut out and that's what they're going to look like on the bow tie. Now we just need to take the 3D paint and put the designs on. Alright, so what we're going to do is glue these four pieces of bow tie together and then put the bat heads on. Now for the 3D paint. Alright, next we're going to be doing the paint. Alright, next, probably the most tedious part, we got to pinstripe the pants to match the pinstriped jacket. So we're going to show you how to do that next. So the pinstripes in the jacket are 3 eighths of an inch apart, so we have to try and recreate that on the pants. Alright, so what we're doing with a white pencil crayon, we're going to mark off the 3 eighths of an inch and use a level to make sure they are straight. And now, you're going to draw your lines in.
We're going good so far. We got one leg of the pan almost done. Out of the uh, whole pan there. Now we've officially got one half of the front painted up, pinstriped. Only three more sides to go. The front is done. We've just got the back left to do. We've already gone through one marker, so I do recommend getting three white fabric markers just in case, at least. So yeah. So after doing this for a bit, we recommend that you actually can find pinstripe pants because doing this pinstriping by yourself isn't actually as fun as it sounds. Is it, Mother? No. <laughs> no, not at all. It's a bit of a hassle. But it matches the jacket, so we're good. I also found this wicked Jack Skellington Santa Claus hat. Check it out, check it out. It's optional. So we move location to the table. So the ground's getting a bit hard on the knees. We're doing good. So the pants are done being pinstriped. And once again, I 100% recommend getting pinstripe pants that are already pinstriped because that wasn't fun at all. Next, you're going to want to take some sort of pin or something or some sort of device that will allow you to stick the bow tie to your shirt. You want to take that, you want to glue that on the back there. 